Time for our first live challenge, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Plan. <laughs> this week is the 50th anniversary of the Beatles making landfall here in America. So we thought it'd be fun to take a look at what the internet has to say about one of the greatest albums of all time, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I mean, what, the, what could possibly be negative about that? I mean, the internet doesn't hate everything, right? <laughs> so here to read an Amazon review of the album is an artist with her, I, an artist I adore, by the way. Her new album is entitled St. Vincent. It's out February 25th. Andy Clark, St. Vincent! <laughs> Uh, would you please read this, what I'm sure is going to be an amazing review. It's a great album, right? It's an amazing album. So what, the review's gotta be great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's find out. Uh, this one star review uh, is titled, No, These Guys Weren't on MTV. <laughs> okay. This album is Orful. Yeah, it's spelled O-A-R, Orful, yeah. Orful. Yeah. Uh, the Beatles were probably the most mainstream band ever created. <laughs> And when they were tired of bubblegum pop, they tried to be all trippy when they were given acid by that awful musician, Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really nailed that one. Yeah. <laughs> but the only thing they could accomplish is ripping off that song from the Wonder Years <laughs> and overall making an album that is barely listenable unless you take some LSD. <laughs> For good bubblegum pop, Get the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, the Jonas Brothers, Joe Bros, and then drop the LSD. Thank you so much to Andy Clark of St. Vincent. Comedians, please respond to this review. We're gonna get your answers right after the break. We'll be right back with more at midnight.